Okay, so in one of my first videos when I first started YouTube, like 500 years ago, I don't know, it was pretty close around that time, I made a video called How to Make Multicolor Flames. Well, back then I had a shitty 480p camera. Now, this one is much better, it's 1080. That's like 400 times more better than 480. Do the math. Trust me, I'm a calculus whiz. Okay, so in the video, you're going to use Rochaway, which has boric acid. And since I haven't done chemicals in such a long time, um, heat, which is going to have a... Just by heat. Okay. So what you want to do is, if I can get this shit off... You're going to want to take the heat. Oh. And, you know what, I didn't use that much whenever the first video when I created it, so I'm going to actually use a lot this time. So we're going to pour this, start pouring this in there. Oh, shit. Holy shit. <sighs> you're retarded. Don't, don't get it on you, you you're going it, to, it's a chemical, just remember that. Okay, I'm going to put this up. Okay, so now we have the, that stuff in there, and we're going to put some of that boric acid in here. Mm. So when you use the heat by itself, it creates a blue flame, and whenever you mix it with boric acid, it'll create a, uh, a green flame, which we all know green flames are pretty damn badass. So now... Remember, use gloves, kids. All I have is a Sharpie, and so I'm going to mix it up with the Sharpie. One thing you want to remember is whenever the green smoke, whenever you uh, make the flame, you want to breathe in all the smoke. I mean, don't breathe in all the smoke, sorry. I breathe in too much green smoke. And uh, right now it looks pretty good. So we're going to go light this. Okay, so now we're in a dark area because it's much more fun to see big green flames in a dark area. Here's the green flame, and it's already starting to get condensation because the two chemicals are going to start getting cold. It's not going to be too cold to make you freeze, <gasps> but you don't want to, you know, you don't want to drink it. So I'm just going to pour a little bit right here to show you exactly what color the flame starts as. Okay, and that's going to be the green flame. And scoot back, scoot back, scoot back. So we're going to have a little bit more fun with it. And you got green flame everywhere. It's much more fun. Start, yeah, do a panoramic view. A little extra. Whoa! Whoa! That's a golden one. See, look, you got a little bit of a mixture of just the boric acid by itself, and that's the orange flame. Then it starts to go green, blue, and then you've got nothing else. Now, if you look closer, all you have left is this white residue, and that's basically just the flame. It's, it's really nothing that important. But yeah, the flame doesn't last that long, but when it does, it's pretty cool. So I used a green cup, green cup to give you an example of that's the color that it's going to be. Let's have a little bit more fun.